Howdy, good morning everyone. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Gonna be getting back on the mother road today. Excited about another beautiful drive, experiencing some new stuff on Route 66. Last night I, I, I spent the night here at one of the strangest harvest hosts yet. This is literally a storage yard facility. Although it is gated, and uh, once you check in with your harvest host membership, they will give you a, a little code that unlocks the gate. So I slept really, really well out here. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, but today, I'm going to hook up the car to the back of the RV. We're going to get on out of here and head towards Tulsa, Oklahoma. Come on with me, guys. Here we go. Got Tater Tot in tow behind us. It is great having that lift on the car because it really gives me the comfort to know that I'm not gonna bottom out on some of these ditches or gravel roads or anything. Looks like solar's doing good there on the roof. Doesn't need to be cleaned for a little while. I really appreciate Park on Route 66 for being a harvest host. I wish there was some way that I could donate to their cause, but I don't have any needs for any storage right now. So unfortunately, uh, it was just a nice place to park and actually escape some of the rains that were here in the area. We'll get up to this gate up here and I will show you how this works. Gate opening. This was a really nice stop here at Park on Route 66. Uh, I'm really glad that they decided to become a harvest host because it's a, it's a great secure spot to park. Although all I did yesterday was wait out the rain that was going on. So that part kind of sucks. But we're going to get out here. This road right out here is Route 66. We are going to head southwest into Oklahoma, the state of Oklahoma. I got to admit, though, uh, I am really excited about today. And uh, not all of this will be spontaneous. Uh, I had to buy a ticket uh, for tonight's event. So, oh, thank you for giving me the left lane. That was very nice of everybody. So I do have some plans and some some things you have to buy tickets for. That's just that's just the way it goes these days. But yeah, let's get back on Route 66. Uh, hey, Twinkle Toes, you, I have never seen Opie lay up there in the dash on the road while we're driving. He's literally passed out. I wish you could see his face. You just see his you just see his torso. I can see perfectly fine over him. I wish that he wouldn't lay there, but. I don't want him to be a scaredy cat, so I'm gonna allow it, Opie. All right. Now, we'll just say, yes, I could take I-44 all the way to Tulsa. I, I understand that, but y if you know me, if I can avoid an interstate, I will, especially Route 66. I mean, the interstate is for getting there as fast as possible. There's nothing good and quirky on the interstate, though. So I don't mind it. I think it's gonna take an extra hour to get to Tulsa. Hey, look, off to our right. Welcome to Oklahoma! Oklahoma, where the da 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 da, whatever it goes. So, me personally, I'm in no rush. I know where I gotta get to today. I am fine with taking back roads on the mother road. That's where all the good stuff is. Well, that didn't take long. That water tower says we're in Afton, Oklahoma, and I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't even know. Grave robber established 1946. She looks a little scared in there. Oh my goodness. What is actually going on here? This is art. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm Al Childs, Cross Star Museum, Afton, Oklahoma. Uh, if you'd like to smile or laugh out loud, and there's nothing wrong with you, come visit me. But if you don't laugh out loud, don't don't stop. We're just slowly, we're trying to get it done by 2026, because that's the 100th anniversary of Route 66. We yeah, we're going to redo this gas station. It was built in 1934, and it's on the National, uh, Washington, D.C.'s National Register of Historic Places. Okay. I used to go to car shows. That was my big thing. Is, Especially that parade truck there. I was in a lot of parades and car shows, and I got a lot of about 30 trophies on it for best of show. And okay. I mean, this is for uh, 20, 2019 before the virus hit. But I don't have to go to car shows now. I got people coming 15,000 miles to see got my your own car show here. Yeah. yeah. And uh, 
and everybody's welcome and you and you may leave here with a, pri a gift too if you if you're interested i can tell who's interested in route 66 and <laughs> this guy here he is he's interested he's been <laughs> yeah, there and he drives a smart car with a, <laughs> with a camper in front of it you know it, yeah, man that, 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 that's awful small car to be pushing that camper down the it road is, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> this is way better than the interstate I oh yeah it. yeah and uh they're gonna right. redo this though they're gonna try to make it four lane through here through town here okay. with matching funds from uh, route 66 association and uh the county and, and the city and in the, the state because uh the state has to keep maintaining it because the wide loads have to come through here because they won't let them on the turnpike because the booths are only 10 foot wide and some of these loads come through here 16 sure. 18 foot wide some of these double wide trailers and stuff but uh but we we have become pretty well a good stop in area here because we get like i said we had over 800 uh people from foreign countries to sign a book last year and make little donations that we buy more stuff with <laughs> yeah, yeah and uh we're gonna put a diner he's probably gonna go to the inside and look we're gonna have a diner a band mm -hmm. upstairs and a di uh, on the balcony and a diner and a dance floor and we got elvis and and uh, pink cadillacs and and all kind of animals we even got a uh a horse with a horn what is he called a unicorn. A unicorn? Yeah. <laughs> Al seems like a neat guy, passionate about Route 66, and it is amazing what he has been able to do in just a short period of time here in Oklahoma. Got a NASA space shuttle, a Bel Air, we got a robot, <laughs> we've got, like you said, there's a unicorn here, there's a pirate, there's a whole tree of, geez, I don't even know, it looks like Mardi Gras beads and shoes. And what do you call these dinosaurs? That one Dynaco gas station? I forgot. But yeah, wow, guys. Our happy place. I can tell. I can dig it. Well, he said we can go inside. So let's take a peek in here. Whoa. There is a lot of collecting going on in here. Hey, look. It's a, it's a guitar with barbed wire strings. <laughs> You know what that is? That's a hospital pisser turned guitar. Wow, geez, what a neat place. We got a pink Cadillac here. And of course, you gotta have the king. Hey Elvis, a creepy clown. This was a heck of a first stop here in Oklahoma. Man, check this place out, guys. All right, guys, first understand, I'm a little embarrassed. I've done Route 66 how many times? And I have missed, I have missed a lot. Okay, sorry, uh, I've, I've missed a lot. This is a big one here in Catoosa, Oklahoma. Here's the entrance. And as we come around the corner, I can already see it guys. Look, welcome. And you just follow this nice little path right into the whale's mouth here. Let's get off to the side here though. They've got tables and the chairs are made out of barrels and little blue whales. And yeah. The blue whale of Catoosa, Oklahoma. It does say no swimming in the lake. It looks pretty dirty in there. But uh, as you can see, you can just walk right in. Oh my God, is that a slide? I think that's a slide, guys. We are gonna go in the whale. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Wow. Huh. You can step up here. There used to be a slide right into the water. Hmm, I wonder why there's no more swimming. Same thing over here. Nice slide. And a stairwell. You know, I don't think this was like for maintenance. I think you used to be able to go up here and go to the top of the whale. Maybe things have changed since then. Yeah. Now we're in the tail. Yeah, you definitely used to be able to swim because they've got ladders coming up. I wonder what changed. Today's day and age, you know, you don't, if you don't have a lifeguard, you know, you gotta shut everything down. That sucks. <laughs> and here's the tail fin. Cool. There's another couple walking at the end of the tail there. This uh, blue whale's been here on the mother road since 1976, I think. No, 1972. At least the city of Catoosa is maintaining the whale, keeping it clean, keeping graffiti off of it so we can still walk on it today. I'm glad I finally got to see the happy smiling whale. There are other things here in the area that we have also missed. So, well, first I think we gotta go get parked. Yeah, so first we're gonna go get parked and I'll show you where that's at and then we'll take the car. Unless, wait a minute, is the gift store open for magnets? They do. 
They've got magnets. Oh, just hanging out in Catoosa, Oklahoma. It's probably the one. It's probably the one. All right, guys, don't worry. We're not done. But um, I want to get a secure spot to park the RV so that the kitties are safe uh, so that we can go back out in the car and do more of Route 66. And I got a tip that this particular camping world here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, not only allows uh, guests with a Good Sam's membership to overnight, but also that they might have hookups. So I'm gonna drive around the parking lot and see, unless they're talking about those hookups on the pole. I don't think that's what they're talking about. I'm just gonna, oh, over here off to our right, there is, that's interesting. Let me look around here and then I'll get back to you. All right, I found where I'm supposed to park, went inside, checked in with my Good Sam's membership, asked them some questions about hookups. There's a dump station on site that you get access to, plus water and electric. Yeah, I'm plugged in, guys. For the first time since I've had this RV, though, I did have to use my 50 to 30 amp adapter because they do not have 30 amp here. It's just two 50 amp plugs. This one's probably for the one next to me. This space, he'll just run his cord underneath his, his vehicle. And then you got fresh drinking water also. It's not super hot today, though. It's, I think it's like a high of 76 or maybe 77, but it's going to be nice to have the air conditioning on for the kitties and just set the thermostat so they can be comfortable as well as we're in a space that has a gate that's like secure and I feel comfortable leaving my RV here because I've heard things about Tulsa that might not be so good once it gets dark and we have after dark plans today. So it's getting tater tot. Well, let's go check on the kitties first. Then we'll hop in the tot and go explore. Uh, Opie, don't get comfortable or anything or anything. <laughs> Where's your sister? Doesn't she want to snuggle? Tara Bear, will you take care of your little brusher for me? Yeah, I'll take care of my brusher. He's a putz. I know he is. All right, I guess we're ready. Kitties are taken care of in the RV. We can go have some fun. I'm Route 66, y'all. Sounds really good to me. Heck yeah. It's really, uh, really humid today. I don't think we're going to have to go too much farther west before we finally get rid of the, of the humidity of the last seven months. Yeah, once we get into, uh, like, West Texas, it'll be gone. But today, it's a little sticky and muggy in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I love this Route 66 sign. We can get closer. It uh, stretches up over Route 66 to welcome people. I bet that lights up orange and white at night too. Yeah. Well, are you thirsty? A big, huge, 60 foot tall bottle of liquid life. Whatever that was back in the day. This is the headquarters behind me. And the only information I can get on Google is that the essential nutrients in it uh, was something of like for diet and minerals. So a bunch of minerals were at the bottom of this back in the day and uh, now it stands here at the Rockland Center. Nice little paradise beach seen there on the bottle. It may be taller than 60 feet now that I look at it. Yeah, I am kind of thirsty. We've got to find something fun to eat on Route 66 today. Okay, another famous one that I have sadly, embarrassingly missed over the years, but here we are. We have Bucks on 66. At night, this neon sign right here to be lit up. It looks so cool. Yeah, an old uh, service station here. Buck Adams Cosmic Curios. And there is uh, Buck Adam there, the Space Cowboy, the famous Space Cowboy holding the nuclear looking rocket there. I love the colors, the red and the blue. Heck yeah. You can pause it there if you want to read up on that. This is one of those old uh, coin-op horses, isn't it? I don't see the coin-op on it, but I think it is. I think it's what it used to be. And a uh, robot service attendant here. Very creative, something looks like Wally almost in a quirky Route 66 version. Cadillac nose there, washer eyeballs. <laughs> Very nice. And they got a gift store here. Route 66 gifts. Let's go see if we can find a magnet here. Buck Adams Cosmic Curios. Lots and lots of magnets. Hmm. Well, that one's cool. Here's some interesting magnets too. They're really tiny and they're all handmade. 
I love the corn dog with ketchup on it. And there's this Bucks colorful one there. But I think I'm gonna go with this neat rubber, rubber one here. Awesome, I got a whole goodie bag and the nice lady inside there gave me a tip on lunch. So we're gonna go hit a burger joint that she recommended right now for lunch. All right, this place comes highly recommended. I love the Howdy Burger Neon with the burger and the, the lasso there. Get your chicks on Route 66. Well, I'm going for a burger. Actually, Tater Tot led me right to the place. What does that say? Partner, this ain't my first rodeo. Love it. I got a lot of feedback on my 33 minute Route 66 video from three days ago. And I appreciate that guys. That gives me some good you know, to find out what my viewers like. We can do them at times. We're not always going to do super long videos, but when I feel motivated, it could be a long one. Buckle up. All right, let's peek at the menu here. Ooh, the original Howdy Doody. Well, it smells delicious. These are their home style fries and I got a burger with some decorations on it and I'll deal with it. We'll try it. Oh, geez. Oh my gosh. Ground screw. Ground. Throw it on. Just, just kidding. <laughs> and the fries. Need a little dippy dip. Not bad. They were right. This might be the best meal in town. It's definitely uh, warming up here in Tulsa. The sun, the sun is out and I can feel it. So I'm gonna make one more daytime stop and then go check in on the kitties and then we'll go back out tonight. So, although it's not related to Route 66, I'll, I'll show you when we get there. All right. And again, maybe not for everyone, but uh, we've been to a few time capsules on this channel. That is where somebody buries items uh, underground or in one of those spheres and they put a date on it. You know, don't open for a hundred years. Well, here in Tulsa, there is one. The Centennial Time Capsule, I guess, is on the other side of this. We're gonna go check it out and see what's in there and when they're gonna open it. Okay, this is the weirdest one I've ever seen. You can see how the grass comes up taller than we are. And if we climb, there we go. <laughs> this concrete piece right here is the top of the time capsule. So guess what's in here, guys? Come back here if you're still around in 2048. They're gonna crack this open and what's buried inside is a brand new 1957 Plymouth Belvedere. Under where I'm standing right here. <laughs> I don't know who gets to own it, if it belongs to the city or if there's inheritance of the man who uh, buried it here. Why that car and not something more classic? I don't know, it's just what, it's just what he had, you know? So, ooh, looks really pretty down there. Let's go check it out. Hey, this is a really nice park here in Tulsa. Jeez. Okay. Another little waterfall over here behind the reeds. Yeah, I don't know what body of water this is exactly, but I like it. I think it's nice when you can have a natural area like this in a big city. Tulsa is a, is a big city. We haven't really ventured into downtown Tulsa. And we will not be doing that today. I'm sorry, guys, you have to follow somebody else. <laughs> I'm doing it my way. And uh, I couldn't be happier with how Route 66 has treated me the last couple videos, last six days of videos combined, you know? So yeah, we're gonna go head back to the RV at Camping World and check in on the kitties. And then we'll be rolling out for dark for our next activity this evening, which I'm really excited about. Yay, I'm home. It has definitely warmed up in Oklahoma. Tara, what is it with you, girl? She sure loves that windshield. <laughs> it worries me when I boondock. She is the reason why this is here. Somebody doesn't smash out my window and think I'm being a bad pet owner. She's adorable. She is such a ham. You're a ham, Tara. Yeah, you. And there's Opie in his Opie spot. It's your opie dopey spot. You like the AC? Does that feel good? Terra Bear feels good. What a fun day. Um, I have only been to one other drive-in movie as, as an adult. Uh, and that was with uh, Sean and Jill and, and Robert came along with us. That was uh, somewhere in Illinois, the Lechfield drive-in. This one has just been reopened and restored. 
So it is, I think we're on our third weekend of movies and they're doing some new releases, Dungeons and Dragons, which I've already seen, but that's okay, I wanna see it again. And it's a double matinee. They're also doing John Wick chapter four at, at the drive-in. I've also seen that one in the theater, but this is okay. <laughs> Popcorn, soda, a drive-in with a tater tot, and the kitties are going to be in a safe spot. So we just got to wait about an hour till the sun sets, and then we'll head on over to Sepulpa, Oklahoma, which is just on the west side of Tulsa. I know, I'm going to miss you too. Are you being super kitty? You flying? Are you super? Okay. <laughs> Um, I did get some supplies here at Camping World while I'm here. It's a water tank filler. I don't know if you can see the picture right there, them sticking the end of this clear part down there. I'm having some trouble filling up my tank uh, since I put the new water diverter. Like it, it goes around in a U and comes into the tank that's underneath Opie right there. And I'm having some trouble getting it to fill. So I'm hoping this will be the ticket. We'll try this out tomorrow when we leave, fill up the tank. And then I needed a new uh, waste tank valve this one happens to be metal the plastic ones always come up they, they break off because they get brittle and even as i'm walking over here i'm thinking i should have just got two of these because it's just a matter of time before the other one breaks but yeah you can see there's a good one there's a bad one it snapped i mean technically i can still get one finger on it but uh when i go to pull this gray water tomorrow i'll unscrew that and put this one on and I just talked myself into it. I'm gonna go right back in there and buy the other one that's on the shelf. They had one more behind it. However, I will not be renewing my Good Sam membership when it expires in October, I think. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It, even with the severe discount you get, you pay whatever it is, $30 a year, right? And then you get, you get a certain amount of money off products in store. Well, you can still get all of these things cheaper on Amazon, which we're also paying for if you have Prime, and it's free shipping if you can be patient. Secondly, the main reason why, why I will not be renewing my Good Sam membership through Camping World is because that five cents off per, per gallon discount that, that we get, you know, that, that exclusive, it is literally means nothing anymore because anybody can now get 10 cents off per gallon by joining the Flying J Pilot membership for free. <laughs> So me getting five cents off and paying for it makes no sense anymore when everybody else is getting 10 cents off and I can just do that for free instead, which is what I'm gonna do. Sorry, Camping World. I uh, changed my mind slightly. I'm not gonna wait till the sun goes down. I wanna get there a little early. I think, I think it's like first come first serve as far as where you, where you park to get a good spot. So the radio works, that's how you listen to the movie, right? You listen to the radio on, on your vehicle, I think. Yeah, remember back in the day, it used to be something that you put on, put on your glass, but now I think it's the radio. Yeah, all right. These monsters. Now we got them both up here. Look at this fuzzy butt. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at that one. Look at, the, look at my kitties. Look at my babies. You guys are ridiculous. Fine, fine. I'll see you in four hours. Okay. Hey, I'm glad I got some time to kill. There's the sun setting right there. Now we're in the shade. Yeah, I'm glad I have some time to kill because I just came across by accident the world's largest gas pump. Yeah, here in Sepulpa, Oklahoma. And there is the heart of Route 66 Auto Museum closed. That's okay, I wasn't gonna go in anyway, but I am loving that gas pump right there. All right, we're gonna get in there and there's still gonna be sun on the screen. I'm so excited, a drive-in movie. All right, we got the sun right in the way. I'm really wanting to see this sign. You know what, there's no way behind me. I'm gonna pull off right here so we can take a better look on the other side. All right, there we go. Look how well they did that. They just finished this, guys. The TP drive-in, now open. Right over there, that's where we're heading. This is the road leading up to the entrance of the drive-in. All right, we got VIP entrance, so that's not us. So there's a the screen, guys. And we're not the first ones here. I do see some other vehicles that have already beat us to the punch. There we go, TP, enter here. And I guess go this way. Oh, cool, okay. There's the back of the screen right there. All right, it looks like people are backing up, sitting in their chairs or sitting on their trunks. So a couple different ways to do it. I'm gonna peek into this row right here. See what the screen looks like. Oh yeah, that is a good view right there. I like this. 
Hmm. Right, here's where I picked guys. It says we've got about 50 minutes till they start the first one, Dungeons and Dragons. And uh, on the poll tells you what station to uh, tune into so we can hear the movie. They've got the front row blocked off with the cones. I guess that's for VIP. So we're as close as we can get. I might pull up just a little bit more so the angle. I kind of like the slope though. I don't know, let's go check out the food. Alcohol coming soon here and cocktails, but not this weekend. I do love how the concession stand is also, well, it's like a, it's like a single wide, right? Yeah, single wide trailer. That's pretty cool. All right, I got a large popcorn and a Coke Zero. I like that it comes in a bucket. You can get it early and get it ready to go because they've got butter and salt right here. Easy, easy, don't be easy. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, you can see it dripping down the side. Oh my gosh. And they said alcohol is coming June 5th, my birthday. <laughs> they've got a taco truck. And as we get on the other side of the sun here, Here's the restrooms. Again, it's a portable trailer. It's pretty neat, right? And then these three trailers we saw when we came in. This one is apparently a work in progress, but these two over here are Airbnbs, guys. Yeah, and you can rent these out right now so that you actually live here at the drive-in on Friday and Saturday nights. Look at the little outdoor set. How cool is this? It'd be totally worth it to rent an Airbnb trailer and then have this view of the drive-in movie. Really cool. I can dig it, guys. I like it. You also get a one free refill of popcorn. So an intermission. Oh, I don't want to miss the cool intermission show, though. We'll see. Maybe I'll sneak out during dungeons. So I was enjoying the movies and I thought, oh, darn, how am I going to share all these copyrighted movies and the experience with my viewers for five hours? The answer is I'm not. So here's just a little time lapse of part of the first Dungeons and Dragons. I stayed till the end, didn't get out of there till 2.30 in the morning. And, but gosh, the sound system in Tater Tot with the bass and everything, it was awesome watching these movies in Eric Max Dolby. Yeah. Opie, I'm absolutely pooped. I am pooped. Yeah, I missed you, buddy. You remember me? Yeah, I miss you. Where's Tara? Oh, Tara's over in the window here at Camping World. Tear Bear, say hi, honey. I missed you, girlfriend. I'm pooped, guys. I, I'm getting too old to stay up till 2.31 a.m. <laughs> I'm too old for this. That was fun. I had another awesome day on Route 66, and I'm just gleaming with smiles, and I can't, I can't stop smiling. I hope I could share it in a way that meant something to you. Maybe I gave you some ideas for things to visit on your trip through Oklahoma on Route 66. And uh, drive-in movies are a lot of fun. Definitely awesome. So I'm aiming for that pillow back there. I will see you guys in a few days. Be well. Bye, guys. Whoop.